Hey guys, I'm back. I had so many lovely messages um, yesterday after I popped up a little chatty video um, about how you guys have missed my little my little chatty videos. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry. I've had no voice on and off for so long now over the Christmas New Year break that it just didn't seem like it would probably just, it just wasn't feasible to do them. So I just I didn't. So I am back. I think I'm healthy enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm honestly, um, yeah, I just thought I'd do another little chatty video. Um, so I had this happy mail arrive the other day. Actually, I think it was the other week. Um, and again, I haven't shared it cause I didn't really have much voice to share it. Um, and now I do and I need to use them or I want to use them. So I need to share it with you guys so you can see what I'm, what I got. But this is some happy mail from the lovely gem over at plan a life to love. Obviously, I'll pop all the details below, um, but these are some extra bits to go with uh, my planner setup. So, you know, like when you have an idea and Jem amazingly put it all together for me, and then it was like, oh, I need this as well now. Oh, and I need this as well. And then she comes up with something new, and it's like, oh, I need that too. So, some of these bits are to technically finish off my 2022 planner setup. Some of these bits are Jem's made something, and I've gone, oh, I love it. I want it. So, she's had to send it to me as well. So, <laughs> I'm going to jump in and show you what I got. Shall I just, let me just empty everything out first, shall we? Let's get it all out. Otherwise, I'm going to be turning and front unpacking everything, aren't I? And then we are going to really run over. So let me just grab these out. As well. I love all the little notes that she puts with her orders. They're so cute. Thank you, Jem. And I use all this amazing card that she puts in to stop, like, the um, bits and bobs getting bent. I end up using that in like dashboards and stuff. So thank you. Um, but yeah, let's jump in. Do you know what? I'm going to jump in to let me actually, I know what I was going to show you first. I'm actually going to show you these first. If you watched my, um, previous videos on, um, my divider and that setup, um, these are, these going to be really hard to show you, aren't they? There we go. Maybe I'll keep that there. Um, maybe better. There we go. There we go. Um, I had dividers set up, um, so I am currently using my clear ones. You can see there, so they are like um, I don't know what shape you call this, like the um, the angled ones, and then they've got etched words in. Um, so I'm currently using my clear ones in the in my planner at the moment, um, and then I also got these vellum ones. So this is the vellum. It is you can see it's like semi transparent. It's quite transparent actually, but it's really I don't know if that sound i did this before you can't see how thick it is it's a lovely gorgeous thick it reminds me of the vellum that cloth and paper used to use that really thick sturdy vellum so i know if you've had doubts on vellum dividers i definitely recommend grabbing um some from gem because they are this really gorgeous can you hear that it's like a really gorgeous thick one so they are so strong um but yeah so i had um i've got all my side tabs but then i had a couple of um like sections where they're like subsections so gems just put a couple of top ones so i've got dates um oh dear keep on losing this magnet um i've got a date section and like it's just a work section basically just so i can flick to it so i've got them in the vellum these are going to go into my taupe or my uh, velvet cotton because um, they just look so good in that. So I've got those two top tabs. And I've got the matching in the clear. So these are going to go straight into my planner once I finish this video. So again, it's that same shape. And it's just etched in there. It's really pretty. Really minimal. And obviously you can have all the pretty dashes. And you don't have to change your tabs up. Because you can see the dashes through the clear. And again, this is really strong and sturdy. But I don't know if you can see it. It's so super thin. It's... um. Yeah, it's flexible, so it doesn't take up any space in your planner whatsoever. It's really, really good, because that was the only other thing. I've had some dividers that take up so much space in your planner, and I have a lot of tabs. Jen will tell you I have a lot of tabs. Um, so they are those two top tabs. And then I did grab, these are slightly different. Let me show you one in here. These are the little, um, I've got this one in here currently, the little post-it holders. So these are slightly different. So there's the little holes there. So the post-it still fit on there perfectly and then you've got the little tab that sticks it will sit out just at the bottom like that so you can turn to it so i grabbed a couple of extra post-it holders to go with my clear um divider setup and then 
Oh, so if you saw, I did do like a little flip through of this the other week. So this is also like a little subsection. So I've got my monthlies and then I have this section. Um, and I just had some, I've just got some dashes and then I've got like my year view and then I've got these like month on one pages. Um, and it is literally for like bills. So I just pop in like when my car money comes out, um, like kids club money comes out and that. So it's like a little subsection. So I'm using like a little post-it note from cloth of paper at the moment. And I love this dash. And then Jem did a little, um, flip of her planner and I saw this, but with a tab. Perfect. So, um, I had to grab it in both colours. So I really love this colour setup with these dashboards. So I, I literally got the same, but it has this tab and you can either have it this way. So it just sticks at the bottom. Obviously you can flip it. So it is at the top. So this is like a nude colour, but then I thought, actually, while I'm in my pink, I might get a pink one. So I think I might swap this out for that one there. I love it. So I've got so many sections in my planner and then I have subsections so this is going to work so nicely they're so pretty have those and obviously if you don't want like the the leopard print you could obviously have this just as a border you could have absolutely anything on it if you like the idea of having like a single tab just to divide up like one of your sections just pop Gemma a message and she can work out if you didn't want this and you wanted something slightly different but these are up on the shop and they're so pretty. I love them. So I think I'm going to stop that out for there as soon as I finish this video as well. But there we go. So that's those. And then this is the other thing. See, this is why I can't watch Gems flips because obviously she makes so many pretty things for her own planner. Oh, and then I just have to have it. This is a 2022 dash. I had this very, I had something very similar in my last planner setup. I'll have to go back and find the photos. I think I had it in white or pink. I think I had, I can't remember now, but obviously I had, this was in a different colour. I went for black this time because Jem had it in black and it looks gorgeous. But I did get my 2022 in this like shattered glass, hollow glass going on there. So this will go. Sorry, I realise I keep knocking the camera. Look how pretty that looks. I love it. Absolutely love it. So this just sits at the front and it's actually quite nice. Like if you have things like me, I've got paper clips and things in here um, and you've got pretty dashboards that you don't want to get scratched up. Not that I'm saying this isn't pretty gem, <laughs> um, but I always like to have like a cover dash. So um, not necessarily this, but like if you've got like a really delicate vellum or something, these are really good just to layer over the top. It's a bit like a, like a page lifter, but for the front of your planner, if that makes sense. I absolutely love that. Look at that layered up there. So there we go. There is my 2022 dash. And again, this you can have this in a variety of colours. I think I had it in white last time, or white and pale pink. I remember having the, the hollow on it as well, but I thought black just looks so stylish. And it'll go with any of my planners as well. So there we go. There is that one. And then I'm going to move on to something really exciting. So I'm, I'm going to go for these first. So these are new little page tabs that Gem has made. So if you are a bound, well, I say if you're a bound planner user, then these are for you. But you can actually use these in rings and anything. Um, but these, oh dear, hang on, get them all tangled up. Here we go. So these are little, as you can see, like little bookmark kind of things. So they just slip onto the top of your page. So these are, again, made up of that really strong vellum, same as those um dividers and these have got words printed at the top so I've got notes monthly weekly and today and I will show you this is this is my wonderland my wonderland 222 um planner um <laughs> it is my memory planner and before anyone says anything no I haven't filled it in I have all my memory planning on note form and I haven't been brave enough to use it but I just thought it would be easy to show you how to use these these are absolutely fantastic. Just movable tabs, basically. So if we, do you know what? Let's just, let's just find where we are in February so I can show you. So obviously in the Wonderland, you have these fantastic overview um, pages. And I thought, because this is just memory planning. I don't want anything. Obviously the bound planner, you haven't got dividers you can slip in and out. Um, so these are absolutely brilliant. Um but I wanted something that I could move move around. So I don't want to do like the sticky ones where you um 
but you then can't move them because obviously you're going to be I'm going to be moving along in this planner. So I thought notes would look really well look would be really handy on this overview page and you just literally slip these on. Um so this is like a that review page and then let's go then you have your monthlies in between in this one. So I know I think in the Hobonichi you have them all at the front. I could be wrong. But the monthlies in the Wonderland filter in in between the weeklies. And then let's go. Let's just go to today's week so we can see how. There we go. Put the weekly in here. And then I've also got today. So I don't have a daily planner, but in the back of this Wonderland, you do have these daily pages. So if we go to the start of these daily pages, and my thoughts were because this isn't a whole year's worth of dailies. Um, I don't even know. I think it's like anywhere between three and six months in here. Um, I'm just going to use these as like, you know, when you've got those really busy days. So, for example, um, we have got um, we, me and my other half going to London on Friday. So it's going to be a lot going on this Friday. The normal routine is going to be completely out um, and it's it's too much to put on my weekly. So let's go to the weekly. So obviously this is like, this is for that day. So I will pop down what's going on and then I'm just going to block out like London. And what I'll put is like a little today sticker and then I'll flick to the today and I can write all the details down for that day. So obviously you've got the times down the side and then you've got all this space here. So I can put all the details, all the to-dos um, on there. So look at that. I'm all tabbed up because that is the only thing. Obviously, I have my um. Where's it gone? Oh, it's so clear I couldn't even see it. I was gonna say. Obviously, I've got my uh, <laughs> my Lauren Phelps pencil board. Um, I need to stick like a deco sticker on here. I saw Lauren do that in one of her videos because every time I leave it here, it's like where have I put it? It's so it's so crystal clear you can never see it. Um, so I was using this as a page marker, um, but I don't always need it so like sometimes I would take it out it would be in and then I would I would move it because I, I needed to mark the next the next week or I would pop it in here so I could write on this page and then I'd leave it in there and then every time I flicked it I'd go oh that's not the week we're on so I tend to just use this now as a pencil board um marker and these tabs are brilliant so that's them along the top. Obviously, you can see, and they're so they are super strong. They're strong enough to turn to that page. Um, you can, if you wanted to, if you're not a top tab person, if you wanted to, let's just go. Let's just shimmy them round. They would. I don't know why I did that. I didn't need to. It's literally the next page. Um, see if I can line these up, let's space them out enough. You could put them along the side. They work absolutely brilliantly there as well. Let me just pop it. I think I'm just trying to see if I'm lining these out. The, and because there is enough of a gap, I've had some where it's just literally a thin line. And then it crinkles the pages. Gem's made it slightly bigger, so it just slips on so easily. Let's see that along the side. Ah, I oh, it didn't do too bad. Look at that. Now, I think someone is probably going to ask me how strong they are. I am shaking that. They have not moved whatsoever. They are sticking strong. So that's really good to know. They are so easy to move, but actually, and you can flick to that so easily so so handy hang on let me grab these ones out so you can see them ah i've lost them now where have they gone there they are so bound book users definitely recommend these if you again like i was saying like if you've got like me let's see a section here so like i've got this little page marker here you can put where's the monthly actually do you know what this is really thick i think i might end up changing this out jim i think i'm going to need some more that's really handy there. So you've got like your monthly there. I have a full page today marker, but if you wanted, let's pop the weekly on there. Look at that. 
So if you're a tab person and you like having those little extra tabs but don't want to take up any room in your planner with more dividers in there, go for these little ones. These are absolutely fantastic. I can see me wanting some more of these. <laughs> oh, no. I had the thought of just getting these just for my bound planner. And now I can see me wanting some for my ring planner. Oh, okay. But well, there we go. That is those little tabs. Love them. And obviously, Gem can do, if you're not too keen on this script, Gem has like a few different um, fonts. So if you wanted to use a different font, just obviously pop her a message and she can sort that out for you. But there we go. There's the tabs. And then lastly, I'm so excited about this. Let me, oh, let me take this little post-it note off. There we go. Oh, that was really poor. I've got all the sticky on it still. I am over the moon with this. This is like a little sticker folder. Oh, look, there's little dividers. Oh, I remember talking to Gem about this. So these are little sticker folders. So it's just a little PVC clear sticker folder. Gem has put some vellum in here. So you can see, obviously, you can jazz this up to make it look however you like. And then there is also a stickers vinyl on the back. Love this. So you have got so many pockets. So it's like a little slip pocket on this side. There is a little slip pocket on this side that Gem's put a little bit of vellum in there as well, as you can see. There's this secretarial kind of, secretarial, did I say that right? Pocket there. And then there is, I don't know if you can see here, if I take this out, there is a big slip pocket here. And then there is this little vellum folder. So like little, um, like dividers, but like a little folder that you can pop stickers in there as well. That is so handy. Wow, I love this. This is going to be, do you know what? This is going to work. So that, this is an A6. So this will just fit in my back pocket here. That'll just, look at that. Perfect. It will go in there. Oh, sorry, it's knocking the camera about. If you have a back pocket on your planner like I do, just fits in there. That's going to be so handy. So I, if I show you, just to explain, I have these little like icon stickers that I use all the time. I have like little work ones, um, reminder. I do the same on my monthlies. Um, I've got like all these little icons and things. I tend to use these little shapes and icons all the time. Note, reminder, important. So instead of getting my sticker book out all the time, I could just put some of those in here. I think, let me see. I do have some little stickers here. Let's have a look, shall we? So these are like some little icons. These are from, I think these are from Planet Stowe. They just slip in nicely there. Look at that. And then, do you know what I think? In here, I might put like, I'm just thinking, I've got some like little, some little like shapes in there. And then if I actually, if I keep that in here, so I've got like three sections then. So there's shapes in there. I could put like deco at the back. I had some script ones to hand. I could put some script at the front there. And then I'm just thinking, what can I put in there? I've got some more, more little stickies in here. So you can pop those in there. This is going to be so handy. Oh, actually, I've got, will this fit? I've got these little post-it notes from Pippi Plans. Whoa. Sorry, guys, just knocking the camera everywhere there, aren't I? I apologise. <laughs> it, uh, <gasps> it fits. I've just slipped those little post-it notes in there. Oh, my goodness. This is so handy. So I've got my little post-it notes in the front there. Got my little shapes going on there. You've got your little subdividers for stickers in here. You've got your little slip pocket in there. Pop those in. Done. On the go with your planner. Do you know what? That is that is pretty much full of what I would keep in there. Slipped in the back pocket of my planner. Hasn't bulked it up at all. I love it. So I've now got my stickers that I use all the time. Look at that. That's with the little Wodger post-it notes in as well. I love that. So obviously, like, Gem does have these as well. Let me, um, where are they? Oh, I've got my little stash of bits over here. 
So Gem does have these as well. And this is what I tend to keep with my planner. But as you can see, these are a little bit bulkier and take up quite a bit more space. But these go in like my little planner buddy. Um, so this is like a little jelly pocket. This comes in a long, thin one as well, which actually fits Tombow pens, which is amazing. Um, and I've got like really long washi cards that I want to keep with my planner bit. So I need to get a long one as well. Um, to keep those in and these come with little dividers as well you can see they've got little these little vellum dividers in here so these are like my little grab and go I'm going somewhere you know popping to my mum's I can grab this and go so I have my little uh shape stickers in here have little uh word stickers in there and then I have some little um deco stickers in the back there so if if in doubt if I just need to grab my planner and no time I could just grab this and go and then this is another one that she does. This is a slightly um, different plastic. And it actually comes with um, a string that you wrap around. Um, but Jem showed me this little hack. These are those little clear like hair ties, um, which just makes it a little bit quicker to get in and out of. But I swapped out my string for one of those. And then this, again, has got dividers. So I do have two sets in here. Do you know what? I've got absolutely loads in this. Surprised at how much this holds. So I've got a set of four dividers at the front, which have actually got words on. So script, minimal, deco and to do. There is a piece of card, again, like um, how she sends in the back end. I've just kept in here. And then these are some plain ones. So if you don't want the words because you're not sure what you want to change up, you can get plain ones. And Gem will do these to fit your little sticker storage. So I do have, so like I was saying in here, I've got script stickers in here. I've got little minimal icon stickers then I have some deco stickers and then these are like these are to do but they're like shape stickers they're like different shapes um and then behind here these are like random sections so this is why I thought it was quite handy to have like blank tabs so I've just got like really random like boxes and things um I've got like some PR kind of posts on there some different scripts which aren't like particular words and I actually I think these are like the kids I believe yeah they're the kids um like clothing stickers in there so like they're really random but I keep them with my planner because then I know where they are <laughs> so if you uh wanted some like on the oh dear I can't even make my fingers work some on the go sticker storage oh and I've got like a sticker stash of vinyl that Gem does as well for this um, so I think you have the option when you order this you can either have it plain or have it like have a vinyl come with it so you can pop that on there but these are like, literally, I can grab my planner, grab these, and I don't have to worry. So these are like in my little planner buddy. These are like my go-to sticker usage kind of thing for on the go. I haven't got time to organise anything. I can just grab this and go. But this is going to be so handy just to keep like those daily, like I'm going to, I think I'm going to get some like sticker relief paper and pop them in and stick down like a selection of icons, a selection of scripts. Um, little box things that I use every Sunday when I do my planning I think I'm going to pop that in here and then I love the idea of keeping some little post-it notes in there look at that so then this is going to go in my planner that's amazing so I definitely recommend going and grabbing one of these while you can um, so there's the sticker storage there are the little top tabs so perfect for bound planners or um, ring planners if you want to do like subsections um, I'm just wondering, Gem, if you're watching this, I wonder whether we could do these in the clear as well. So this is the vellum. I'm just wondering whether they would work in the clear. I, I said you can't see it. The clear that you use on your dividers as well. Oh, just putting it out there, putting it out there. There is the 2022 dashboards live now. The singular tab um, subsection divider dashboards as well and then obviously you have got the clear and vellum tabs going on so I'm going to stop waffling <laughs> I've just seen how long this video is um, hopefully if this doesn't upload to Instagram I will pop it up on my YouTube and then pop a little link on to say that it's live for you to watch I hope you've enjoyed listening to me waffle on for far too long and if you see anything and you want more information, please pop me a message or gem over at Plan of Life to Love. I'll put my discount code in there as well so you can save on your order. And yeah, until next time. Bye, guys.